Are you I'm done? The prince, and I, I'm a I am not. I think you need to just stop right now. Okay. Go jump in the shower and let's get in the car and head up to Tractor Supply to get some baby chickens. Do you think they'll have them? Yes. Let's go. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So it is Saturday morning. You smell good. Well, thank you. I shaved and everything. Look. I know. You're like shiny. I mean, it's like a baby's butt. I finally figured out how to get Rachel to not use my razor. I was just making sure like you have no cuts or anything. I don't have any cuts. So I got this new razor. It is called One Blade. Yeah, I'm not using that. Those things look scary. Okay, so I've, I've used in the past, I've tried using like safety razors. Traditional razor like my dad had when I was growing up where... It's got the head on it. It's got a double-edged blade. And I loved it, but it's very difficult to shave your head with that because I think of the head, you have to keep it at 30 degrees the whole time. It is the pressure cooker of razors, those straight razors, right? I, I love the straight razor, but like I said, the problem is it's very difficult to shave your head because you've got to keep it at 30 degrees and you can't really see the back of your head. No. So sometimes I'd cut my head. But I loved it, and the bottom line is, Rachel uses my razors all the time. I'm and not using that. The heads for the razors are like $5, and it gets expensive after a while. Yeah. So I got this razor. Look how, look, I thought this was cool. They have a few different ones. This is like the stainless steel one, but they have like a plastic one and a hybrid one that are much cheaper. But look at this fancy box that it came in. My goodness. It's like a leather. Woven. <laughs> I just like the smell of leather. Oh my lord. Who likes the smell of fresh it is leather? Is that actual not, leather? It's actual leather. Oh is my Is that like God. awesome? I'm like blown away. So anyway, what makes One this thing so cool is this actually just uses these little disposable blades, but they're single edge. They're not double edge. Oh, okay. But what makes this one different is it the head pivots. pivots. Maybe I could use so it. So as you're like coming across... The head actually follows you. Look at I just shaved the hair off my hand. You want me to shave your back with that? Why not? <laughs> you should try that. Hey, because these blades are only five cents. How many blades do you have? We'll probably go through a few. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry. I do have 40 blades though. Okay. <laughs> it might right. be enough. So we're, we're going to call it an afternoon. <laughs> So it's Saturday morning. We are going to head up and look and see if they have any baby chickens. Uh, we don't know if they have any. We called the other day. They said they were, they probably were going to get them on Friday. The problem is it's like 45 minutes away. We want to get out of the house a little bit. Just drive. So we're going to drive. And worst case, if they don't have any chickens. We come home. And you guys get a vlog out of the whole deal. There you go. <laughs> We come home, we had a drive. I think it'll be good for us, yeah. honestly. The thing about, because it's 45 minutes away, if we call when they open, even if they have them, they'll be gone by the time we get there. So I don't want to be disappointed. So we want to get there when they open up. And yeah. so if they have them, they have them. If they don't have them, they don't have them. Uh, we just finished a five-day keto chow only uh Fast, I guess you can call and it. And I see the toaster pastries are already on the counter. Well, I'm starting my day off with a super coffee. Yes, technically this is going to break my fast. Yours not so much because it's cold brew. The only thing is, there are 20 calories to this. It does have l in it. Yeah. This stuff this is amazing. is the bomb. Now, I have been up for a really long time. I ha This is my first cup of coffee. 3 a.m. she woke up. I never start the day with, hot, with cold coffee. Always hot coffee. Mm -hmm. But this stuff calls my name and it will put a pep in your step. I actually really like that. And I, do, again, do not like black coffee. I will drink that black. That's the bold and smooth. It says bold and smooth and it is bold and smooth. 
And but the only reason I'm not drinking is because we have one case of it, and I'm trying to save it for Rachel so Thank that she you. can have it, and we don't go broke. And I'm drinking these. Yeah. Well, <laughs> these are the super coffees, but this has MCT on. But this will give me a little bit of pep too, because the MCT all like makes me go I a little. Ooh. No, not to drink these though, because those are his faves. There's only three left. I won't drink those. Then, then we have the maple. We have the maple pumpkin. Is that what it is? And I really like those. The maple pumpkin. I have some vanillas left. We actually have a discount code from. Uh, it's down below, and they also always have sales. That's we always buy them like when they go buy one get one free or buy one get one thirty percent off. It's pretty like much our exclusive creamer for coffee. It's the yeah, only the one we really jam. use. Um, but these things, it doesn't have any flavoring in them. I'm just I'm. Obsessed. Yeah, I'm gonna as soon as something goes on sale, I'm gonna order some of those. So anyway, Rachel mentioned the legendary. I've been waiting all week. I've got these. I'm going to have one today. Okay. But the whole point of a three day fast that we had and then five days of keto show only was to kind of reset ourselves because I don't know about you, but I have become like a snack fiend lately. And I'm not just talking about snacks like this. I'm talking about it Me. is what Jeez. eight o'clock, and by this time, I've usually walked past the refrigerator and grabbed a piece of cheese, grabbed if the kids had some leftover meat in there, just peel a little piece of chicken off, something Re like that. Refrigerator drive-bys. Yes. So I'm really going to try to do better this week, and we're gonna have our first meal. We're gonna do two meals today. We're gonna really stick to one or two meals, varying it up every day, uh, and during up times. So we're gonna do that. I'm going to have my, we'll probably have our first meal around one or two o'clock, like when we get back mm -hmm. and one of my meals, I will be incorporating one of these. So I'm not going to snack on it as breakfast because as much as I love these, it's not breakfast. It's a dessert treat. Right. And that will be my dessert treat for the day because they're really awesome. Now I was told that there will be pork rinds in my future. Yes, we will be doing a review on pork rinds today. We've got a bunch of pork and good things. Those things have been calling my name too, but that's got to all be around eating time because if I start eating them early, that's going to bring bring me back into my snack. But bed. you think I can have some pork rinds? We're going to make pork rinds as part of our... Like, quest nachos? I'm can I have thinking, some quest nachos? I'm thinking lunch is going to be like a giant taco bowl. I've got some fresh romaine lettuce because I bought some for Anthony the other day. We got some from Whole Foods. So we're going to do uh, some romaine lettuce. Okay. With uh, a bunch of ground beef. Yes, a Maybe lot. a little guacamole. Guacamole. Uh, we'll do some pork rinds. I'm really excited to try those, Those what were those? Stupid hot. Yes. Stupid hot pork and good. That's what I want to try. Because we're stupid and we're we stupid like and things that are hot. Them. And then we'll put some of those, We have. I have the chili lime quest chip nachos. We'll make a nice taco bowl. And then, so that's going to be our big meal. And then we'll probably have a little bit smaller meal later on. But we're really going to try to stick to a Dr. Berry set. Two meals, one or two meals, as much as you can to the full. But we're going to make the biggest meal, the bulk of our food, the first meal. Yeah, which is new for us. And then, and where it used to be, the, the first meal was the smaller meal. I want to try it in reverse. I want to try... Stuff yourself at one, two, three o'clock, and then if it's five o'clock, six o'clock, you're still hungry, eat again. But I don't think you're going to eat nearly as much at five or six o'clock if you stuffed yourself at two o'clock. I think this is a good plan. It's at least worth a shot. Yep. Because things are upside down, it used to be, you know, you ate the small meal at one or two, and then you went out and you did a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now you eat a small meal. At one or two, and then at two thirty you're still here, and or at I'm three sleeping. you're still here, and three thirty you're still here, and four o'clock you're still here. So like, yeah, I'm doing all of these little snacking, and then expecting this giant meal for the yeah. finish. So that's what we're gonna do. And again, my I still I'm gonna have something like this once in a while, or a piece of Chuck Zero, or a bar from Perfect Keto. I'm just gonna put it in its place where it's supposed to be, which is part of my meal, or if I'm having a bar like right before a game and that is my meal, but I'm gonna incorporate it during my eating window instead of eating it now, which is what I was doing before. Now before we hit And I only get one a day. So if I have that legendary foods, I can't go have a perfect keto bar as well. No. I, like I get one or the other. Well, I wanted to tell you that before we hit the road, we've got to go blast our nephew's house. He's yes. turning 12 today. I can't believe that. Can we sing happy birthday 
on the video. So I would love to sing happy birthday, but Chris on a live stream mentioned something about being being out of key. Aw, well that's okay. It's all right. It's, okay. It's the, it's the, you know, it's the, the sentiment that counts. We're going to sing happy birthday to our nephew. I know this is a really long intro. We're at 14 minutes. Sorry. But, um. He's 12 today. He's 12 years old. We're going to sing happy birthday. And what's really special is he actually was born a, a month before we got married. So he was at our wedding. I think we have a picture of him at our I wedding. I will put that up here right he now. He is teeny tiny. Yes. And, and the boys were holding him. We picked our wedding day on the day he was born. Do you remember that? Yes. Because we, see, here, we were weird, right? We yeah. were weird because we were dating for a year. We decided we were going to get married, but the condition to our marriage was I owned a home. We were going to sell my home because I had a mortgage. Right. Rachel didn't. Mm -hmm. So we were going to sell my home. And then once the home sold, we would get married. We completely put it in God's hands. God, when we're supposed to get married, you're going to sell our house. Because we weren't going to have a big wedding. We weren't having a big... We got married on a Thursday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on the patio of the church with four people in attendance. Or yeah. five people in attendance. So, yeah, we actually got the phone call that our house was sold on our way to the hospital to see Jonathan being born. And so we said, okay, we're going to get married in one month. Yeah. And that's how we picked the date. So it was kind of interesting. Here's the other wild thing. Later on, our second nephew was born on, on our, our anniversary. anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go uh, put papers all over Jonathan's house. Oh, we're going to sing happy birthday. Yeah, we're going to sing. Happy birthday. Ready? Here we go. One, two, two three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jonathan. Happy birthday to you. Wow, look at the sun, like, glistening off of my cleanly shaven face. You look very angelic. <laughs> look at the line coming across me. <laughs> okay, let's go through our checklist. Mask. Check. Drink. Gotta have a drink to drive in Check. the car. Yes, Joe needs a drink to, like, walk around the block, but... Yeah, can't go anywhere is, without a drink. This is a long one. I, I even need a drink for this one. Yeah, so we're gonna go do that. Before we do that, we're gonna go put all of these signs Check. all over Jonathan's house. Check. Although, I've already put a ton of signs already, but these are just the toppers. Caleb wanted to add some more signs. What's with the bandanas in your hand? Well, I brought this and some rubber bands because there's a lot of cool YouTube videos about like making masks out of the bandanas and I want to try it. See, we live right around the corner. Oh, look at this. Birthdays during a pandemic. <laughs> I don't know if it's okay, but I put sidewalk chalk out. Okay, we'll go add the other signs. Okay, we're here. Let's go see if they have any baby chickens. Rachel, we are not getting a turkey. How adorable. No. They're so stinking cute. Hi, I want a duck. I know. Too bad we don't have any water in our house. <laughs> Okay, no baby chickens. This is my sad face. <laughs> they did have baby ducks and they had baby turkeys. Yeah. And they were so cute and we were so smart and we didn't get any. Rachel wanted to get a turkey. I'm like, number one, turkeys are loud. Number two, they were straight runs. Like, so All our boys, luck, I'm sure. we're going to get like a tom turkey. But they came right to me. Yeah. They were adorable. They were super, super friendly. So there is another place down the street. We're going to go over there. It's Tractor Supply. And maybe they'll have some. We'll see. I have a question. How many of you guys drive in your car with the radio and whatever song comes on, you just let it go? And how many of you... Every time the song changes, you switch stations because that's her. Me, I put it on one station. It never, ever changes stations, ever. No, I'm searching for songs to sing in the car. I've heard about 20 different stations in the last three minutes. 
I feel like we're gonna go rob somebody right now. I know, I feel very shady. Whatever happened to you, you can't go into a store with a mask. Now you can't go into a store without a mask. I kind of want like something here that says, my makeup looks amazing today. <laughs> Take my word for it. Still no. No chickens. It's okay, we got a drive out of this. Yes, they did actually have chickens here at Tractor Supply, but they only had straight runs. I can't take a chance. Yes, yeah, so if you don't know, straight runs means they're not sex. You could be getting a boy, you could be getting a hen. We don't play the lottery, and we would probably have all roosters. Yes. All of them would be roosters. So we decided to, we're just gonna wait, and we will eventually find them one way or another. But it was nice getting out of the house, and guess what? Every mile that we put on the car was not a mile that I was going back and forth to the refrigerator today. While we're out though, we do need to go to Walmart and find some type of a birthday present for Jonathan. We do. So let's go do that. What do you buy a 12 year old for his birthday during a pandemic? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I mean, the bottom line is like all kids want now are video games, but our screen time is insane. So I don't want to give him a video game thing. Well, and here's the thing. You're into your particular video game. It's not like you could get him any video game and he's going to totally be engaged by it. So you don't want to spend like 50 bucks and him right. be like, this is not my game. Like, you know, you were a Call of Duty guy. Right. But if we got you, you know, a Star Wars game, <sighs> it doesn't mean that you play any video game handed to you. Yeah, it's it's just very difficult. It was so much easier when they were like five. I'd like to go water balloon route. I feel like we're outside a lot. They're in the pool Maybe a lot. Maybe go outside. Yeah, let's go. There's a BJ's right next door. Let's go see if they have any kind of like outdoor stuff. Yeah. Okay, so this is the first. We've got a BJ's, but no dicks. We do have a Bye Bye Baby though. So I feel like there's a dicks here somewhere. For those of you who are in the market for a pellet grill, this is a great deal at BJ's right now. $359 for a 700 square inch, and this is one of their newer ones. It still comes with a five-year warranty. Uh, Jonathan's presence not going to be on time. No. Because I am not waiting in that line. That is a line that goes all the way to the back of the store and then wraps around back to go to the front of the store again. Very much like the one at Walmart. No chickens. <laughs> no present. No problem. We got out of the house. 
We got out of the house. We're gonna go home now. We're gonna eat because there's we don't want to go to any more stores or anything like that. We figured we're out, so we'll check. But that line in BJ's wrapped the entire store and every single register was open. So they're doing their best. They're doing their best. We're gonna go home. We'll see what we can find on Amazon and hopefully it'll get here in a couple of days. It's not right next to it, but there it is lurking, dicks. For the record, Joanne Fabrics, all of your stores are closed. Can you please stop sending me like 10 text messages a day for a 25 or 50% off coupon to use in the store. I feel like it's internet terrorism at this point. It's like every time I open up my phone, it says I have an unread text message and it's always from Joanne Fabrics. I get like 25 to 30 a day. I have tried to unsubscribe. There is no unsubscribing from them. So in a last ditch effort to find some kind of a birthday present for Jonathan, we stopped at Costco on the way home. There were absolutely no lines, which was awesome. And we got him these like refill, these water balloons that you hook up to the faucet because Anthony loves these they things. They self-close. Yeah, they're really good. And here at Costco, they were pretty cheap. I think it's 420 balloons for, for like 20, 20 bucks. bucks. So we got him a couple of boxes for that. And Rachel got her chickens. Well, I mean, I got chicken, but it's cooked. <laughs> So we got one of these for Rachel's mom and we also got one for the kids. And then we got another one to just have in the refrigerator just in case somebody wants something to eat. Okay, so we just passed a billboard for a Panera Bread and there was a sign that said $8.99, unlimited coffee for the month, for $8.99 a month. Don't tell me unlimited. What have we said before? Don't tell an addict unlimited. We've talked about this woman's coffee deal she will single-handedly put Panera Bread out of business for $8.99 a month unlimited coffee. Honestly though, Panera Bread coffee is not the greatest. Oh really? No. Oh, well you heard it from her. I'm an aficionado. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so can we go home now? Cause I'm like beyond hungry. Be are you so beyond hungry that we well, can have some Beyond Meat? Cause I have a pound of Beyond Meat still in the freezer. I am intermittent fasting. <laughs> Oh, it's finally lunch time. Look at this feast. <laughs> okay, so like we said earlier, we're gonna try to do a big meal for lunch, and then if we're still hungry, or maybe around five or six o'clock, have another meal, but it's gonna be a smaller meal, instead of the way we used to do it, which was the reverse. small meal, like just a couple of eggs for lunch, and then overdo it at dinner time. I think it's better this way. We're gonna do the Dr. Berry method. Okay. So here's what we got. We have one giant head of romaine lettuce, which we don't eat a lot of greens all the time. Today, we're gonna do some greens. Yeah. We cut it, like chopped it up, and split the entire head between the two of us. We each have a pound of ground beef, 80, 20 ground beef. We got it from Sam's Club for $2 a pound. I'm so happy right now. We have some cheese, some sour cream, guacamole. some guacamole. It's like the spicy guacamole that comes from Aldi. Comes in a little cups. And then- We have some salsa. And then we also have some of this stuff over on the side to have a little bit more. And then we each have a bag of these uh, chili lime Quest chips. Now we also have that we're gonna put on the side, and this is after we're done with this, we still want a little something to eat. We've got these little mini hot dogs that I had picked up one day at Whole Foods when they were like on sale, like 50% off. They're like uncured little mini hot dogs with only four ingredients in I'm gonna them. I'm try one. You're gonna have one? I have not tried that. We bought them to like work on pigs in a blanket and then they've just been in the freezer. Oh man. Those are good. Those are good. Yeah, I really like those. Along with that, a little bit of Alterna Sweets, the spicy. This stuff is the best ketchup. Even the kids like it. Like the non-keto kids love this. They don't even want the good, like the, the Hunts or the Heinz or any of that stuff. They want the good stuff now. Plus, I gotta make the perfect taco. <laughs> Let me see. How is that? It's so good. For dessert that I'm gonna have in here, I'm gonna have um, one serving of our Instant Pot yogurt, which I'll leave a link for that over Rachel's head. And then I have about a half a serving, not even a half a serving of the end, no more, I'm so upset, of the carrot cake dun, lollies dun, on the dun. top. But, one of the things I did want to say, so Lollies, you don't even know about this, sent us an Instagram message late last night. Actually, I did hear about this. You did hear about it. Oh, I you did. read it on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. They're giving us a $30 gift card to give away. Is this great news? Is this that is awesome, awesome news. So here's what we're going to do. 
All you need to do is be subscribed to our channel, hit the like button on this video, and leave a comment down below. And let's see, next Saturday, I'll put the date right here along the bottom of the screen, we'll post a video and pick a winner, and the winner is gonna get a $30 gift card to use on the Lolly's Cookie Clusters website. And then on top of that, you can use the code 2 Crazy Ketos to get another 10% off of your order. Bonus. See, that's basically two bags of lollies and then you're 10% off, which will end up covering your shipping. Thank so, you, lollies. That's an awesome giveaway. I think that was really awesome. So we're going to eat, but before we eat, okay. I have to mention the lady that we saw in the store. Okay, so. I think I've seen everything now because yeah. we walked in and this lady was in the store with a the biggest I, I hate to even say this, I know it's gonna come off bad, but the biggest maxi pad. It was like a feminine pad. It it, it may have even been a depend. No, it said stay free on it. Oh my god. So the big and that was her mask, like strapped across with rubber bands. It was like this long and about this wide, strapped across her face. I don't wanna sound like uppity, but I feel like <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel, Is this where we've come to? I feel good that I'm not there yet. I'm not like diaper on my face yet. I feel like if there's a poster that we could hang, you know, like one of those office like security posters where it's like 365 days since I've been wearing a diaper on my face. I do not want to scroll back right. and be to like only one day since I had a diaper on my face. Right. Like, mm, yeah, what's, so what's next? <laughs> so this is our lunch. Okay. I did say I was going to have the legendary foods, but then, I don't know, I decided I wanted some yogurt with lollies on it, and since I'm having that, even decision. though it's a half, a half a serving of lollies, I'm also having these Quest chips, so that's my kind of like processed food for the day, so I will probably just do the legendary foods Pop-Tart tomorrow, because again, I do try to limit my process, and it's got to be part of our food. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I'm about done. <laughs> this I'm I'm getting sad because it's almost over and it's so stinking. I'm good. trying to get it in. I'm trying to do like Dr. Barry and be like eat until like you're like, oh I can't have another bite, but I'm getting close. This yogurt definitely isn't gonna hit my stomach because this is so filling. And this is probably it's about a full serving of our yogurt. So this is probably gonna be part of dinner. <laughs> Maybe my only dinner, but this will be part. I will be eating this because I'm not wasting the last of the carrot cake lollies, but I can't eat anymore. How are you doing? I'm going strong, baby, you know me. <laughs> These chili lime quest These ones, are super flavorful. Very tasty. And pack just enough. You get a little bit of a crunch. You know, they're, I mean, they're not the super cleanest ingredients, but they're really not bad. It's mostly protein powder, psyllium husk powder. There's some spices and stuff, you know. There is a little bit of cornstarch as part of the spices, but I'm okay with it. They're turning it around over there. They're Quest. getting better products. They are definitely getting better products, but it's four total carbs for the whole bag. Now, am I going to eat a bag of these every single day? No. No, but Are we going to definitely... have nachos on a Saturday? Yes. <laughs> yeah, but this or even some pork rinds, but we just wanted something different. Again, we got them like really cheap. Felt like a date night. It did. So I thought it was a nice little special thing to just kind of put with our dinner. And with everything. Or lunch. Or lunch, yeah. But with everything, we're looking at this entire plate. And I, I want to say we had about two cups of, you know, like lettuce a piece. So we're maybe at like eight to nine total carbs. And if you want to go net carbs, it's like three net carbs at most. I'm giving but, me four and you four so we don't we're fight. like at... Not a lot of carbs, but really satiating. It's really filling and it tastes amazing. It really tastes good. Well, it's Sunday morning. And we didn't finish last night. <laughs> so after we ate yesterday, we went in the kitchen. We talked to the kids for a little while. Which was actually really good. It was really good. We had a lot of fun doing that. And then after we decided to go into our bedroom and watch the 2014 Godzilla movie. We have never seen that, but iTunes is having incredible bundles on movies. Yeah, we got a great deal on iTunes. It was the 2014 version of Godzilla, the 2019 version and then also the King Kong Skull Island. I am still recovering from Brian Cranston's wig in that movie though. What is going on there? I don't know. I was like, wow, that's a pretty bad toupee. Yeah. 
But yeah, it was a good deal on iTunes. I think we paid like $17 or $18 for all three movies. So they're having really good sales. So if you like watching movies and purchasing them, look at the different bundles they're having on iTunes because some of these movies are like 4 and $5 right now. And we did miss showing what we ate after the movie, but it wasn't very exciting we just ate the chicken from costco yeah we i don't know we just after watching the movie we we're like hey let's eat and completely forgot to grab the camera so we got that uh rotisserie chicken at costco we bought one for the kids we bought one for rachel's mom and we bought one that we're like okay if anybody wants to eat and i was like i don't feel like cooking so we just kind of threw it in the air fryer chopped it up a little bit and that's what we ate for dinner it works out awesome and i stinking love fried chicken skin yeah fried chicken skin is that your groove like it is my groove now the one thing about those rotisserie chickens you know they do have a little bit of dextrose where they inject them so if you're looking for tasty. a super super clean thing usually not the option we don't do them very often but every once in a blue moon it's just nice to have a rotisserie chicken i i just love the taste of rotisserie chicken and it makes really good chicken salad yeah now we have still not found any chickens we're looking online looks like we're probably going to end up just ordering them and the earliest date it looks like we're going to be able to get any chickens is like mid-may man but I don't know. All the stores are sold out or they're only having like the straight runs and I am just not, not gambling. risking getting a rooster. We would have five roosters guaranteed. There would be, there's no gamble even really. It would there would be no hen, not one. Well, that is going to be our video for today. I think we're going to go and relax in the pool for our Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I'm going to go in the pool and treat it like a bathtub so that I'm not grazing today. We did a great job, as you can see in this video, of staying out, staying busy, so I wasn't staying at my refrigerator door, but I don't wanna like go back to that habit. Yeah. The only thing you didn't see us eat was the chicken, and then what we had to drink, and all we had to drink were like seltzer water, Zedia, or water. So we, yeah. didn't, we didn't even make a pot of coffee yesterday. Unprecedented. You drank your can of like the cold brew. Yep. I had my super coffee, and that was it. That was all of our coffee we Y'all know I drink at least a pot. Yeah. Well, like I said, that's our video for today. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.